Seven Knife People, back again with Morty's Knives. Hope everybody's doing good, having a nice day. So I'll start you off with a quick look at this Honey Badger. Large, I just did the giveaway for it. So again, don't forget, whoever won to get a hold of me. So I'll put that aside here. That isn't my carry for the day, but I'll leave that out there just to show it off. My carry for the day is the Quiet Carry Drift LC, the new larger designed one with some extra milling bigger blade bigger handle g10 on this side awesome knife though so really digging it really nice all blacked out so that's my carry but i'll put that uh, actually i'll just leave that here to kind of show off since we're talking about edc stuff um today i wanted to switch up the pace a little bit um had a cool little story to share um uh, a store that I went to and um, well uh, I had more knives to open to but I'm gonna just kind of skip that and go through some other EDC stuff that I had uh, that I've gotten in the recent recently that I haven't opened so I'm gonna jump right in so uh, for starters <clears throat> uh, recently I bought a Glow Rhino Tritium uh, thumb stud for Benchmade I went ahead and put it on my Kind of tricked out already um my my car to bug out um let me show you here let me put that out here so glow rhino they are like an aftermarket maker for tritium parts and so i put it right there it is slightly longer than the original which is this one here the brass one so it's slightly longer but it works fine um and then what else i put the aftermarket flytanium scales on there i haven't changed the micarta spacers yet but i got those as well those are my i'm gonna get i have my card ones as well and that's pretty much it it was the basic um frn handle grivery whatever you want to call it and yeah so that's smart as, as far as i tricked it out the tritium right there Looks real cool at night too in the dark and that's it so that's just my bug out um kind of general bug out there with the tritium so that's a little piece of edc that you can put on your knives see if i do that better there you go see that better so yeah go check out glow rhino again tritium parts they make uh access lock also um i think for the manix as well spider co and a bunch of other uh, knives so go check that out check them out um okay let's go into this real quick too got some stuff from gondek edc uh check them out they're an edc company i got this a while back and let's get this guy open here be a little careful here with this try to peel it open instead get stuff i can rip in here so i don't wanna and i'll show you what i got so a couple of these things are actually for my son. So hopefully he's not looking. His birthday was coming up soon. So I got these things for him a while back. Finding the right time to give it to him. So here we go. So this comes from Max Gondek, which is owner, EDC gear. They make pry bars and stuff as well. I got a pry bar from them as well. Go check them out. Let's see where I put that here. So you can see it. Let's mark it them out here. Cool. So here we have two things. We have one like Zelda. So I got him this Hank with the Zelda logo shield. And for those that know from Nintendo. Got their they used to just put a G and now they put Gondek EDC. On the back side, it's kind of like this, you know, um, you can use it for glasses, microfiber, microcloth, whatever. My son wears glasses, so he, he likes those. So I got him a couple of these before. I got him this one. Thought that was cool. It's kind of a little bit, I guess, worn. So it looks pretty cool. And then uh, add to that, they have little Velcro stuff. Or actually, here, let's do it here. They have little Velcro patches, uh, pouches that they make in different sizes. They use the same material from the handkerchiefs and you can pick them to make little pouches. So 
This one I got him for his ear pods. So, or earphones, something small. You can even use these. It has like a little slit in there. You can put like double, double sided. You can even fit things like, uh, you know, challenge coins, things like that in here. Um, you know, anything small. You can probably put a little carabiner. I put a little lanyard on, uh, you know, going to add some stuff to it. Um, like a lanyard or something and have it hang somewhere. Uh, you got the Velcro patch also. So, let's see here. They also make these things, which I thought was cool. They make little, um, just patches, I guess, Velcro patches, Moro patches, I guess they call them. And so, peel that off. The backing, this one says, from Zelda as well. So, as we played the game, uh, it's dangerous to go alone, take this. That's the first thing you get to start the game. You get your wooden sword. Thought that was cool. And that's what the what you get right in the beginning to start the game. And then you put them on here. So I'll just put that on to kind of show you what it looks like. But that's pretty cool. You can add more, but really like that saying there. It's awesome. So is that glue? Let's scrape that off. All right, whatever. So yeah, so that's a cool little patch I got. And Hopefully he likes it. So that's what I got from Gondek EDC. Just some nice little fun EDC stuff. Back it up here so you can see a little more. There you go. Okay. And what else? I got also. Okay. So going into to yesterday, uh, over the weekend, I uh, my son and my daughter both go to a private school. So I had to get uniforms. That's a pain in the ass, and I waited to the last minute. So uh, while I was waiting for the uniforms to get um, embroidered, um, I kind of walked the old town uh, where I was at. It's a city called San Pedro, uh, kind of downtown. Uh, and so what I did, there was a, a surplus store down the street, and I checked it out and went in there and found some cool stuff. So uh, to start off, I got some new, some new glasses, of course. That's what they are from Black Flies. Those that know the brand. Um, pretty cool. Check out my garage. So I got these new gaffs. There you go. So I got me some new pimped out shades here. Wow. What's up, people? Uh, so I can't show you my setup yet, but those are it. Those are some new glasses I got. These are really cool. They came with, uh, let me show you here. Doo, doo, doo. Came with a cool little pouch from Black Flies. Kind of like a little fake leather, but nice and big. You probably put stuff in here besides your glasses. So I thought that was cool. It came with the pouch, I mean, with the glasses. And then also, um, he also hooked it up with some stickers. The owner did. So there was some stickers there. There's some black fly stickers. Like them. A little kind of pin up hula girl. That was pretty tight. And then you have the black flies kind of logo there. Pretty cool. I always dig some cool stickers. This one was pretty funny here too. I never met a cocktail I didn't like. I didn't get the joke right away, but obviously if you're a fly, flies are up in your shit all the time, no matter what kind of drink you got. So I thought that was pretty funny. And I didn't get it till later. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Shit, bad mistake. Okay. So enough of that funny joke there. Let's see where I can put this. Stay up, baby, stay up. There you go, good deal. And so this was the owner, uh, cool last name, Jeff Tequila. Love to have a name like that. So that's some info there. That's the store. Go check them out. And the real cool part at the very end, I'm going to save it for now. Let me put this here. The best part was we started talking about knives. 
And that day I was carrying my serrated uh, Pacific Salt 2 and I was carrying my bug out. And to just, I thought it was really funny and ironic was he pulled out his knives, asked him what he was carrying. And he was carrying a Endura Wave with the wave opening. Those that know, uh, all mucked up, dirty, uh, scratched up, compared scratches. But his was completely full of like tape and smut and pocket lint. I thought it was freaking dope. And I should have videotaped it, but just my phone had run out of juice, so I couldn't record it. But I did want to shout him out anyways. And I just thought that was really funny. And then to top it off, his second carry was on his keychain. It was a literally a mini bug out so we pretty much had the same knives uh he had the endura you know and i told him about how this one doesn't have the washers so he thought that was cool and just had a cool quick little five ten minute conversation with him chopping it up about you know just knives and stuff and he does sell knives there too he does sell bench maids and a couple other ones so if you if you're in that area go check him out uh, he probably won't remember me but you know, anyways, so thought that was really cool. We had the same knives. The little bug out he had on his keychain was completely dirty and it was the white one. So it was just, it was cool to see pocket worn and he had it on his keychain. So I thought that was cool. So we thought alike. We had literally the same kind of knives together, but for all, all you know, all the glory, this is what took the prize for me. I found this really cool. Uh, I guess it's a trim. I'm, I've never heard of it. Made in Los Angeles, California, manufacturing. This is an old, um, he said, Vietnam era box. I guess like a cash box or I don't know what it is. Gun box, bullet box, something. But uh, the lock works completely good on it. So it locks. Key comes out. He's cool too, look. Nice engraving on there. That's really cool. So right there it's locked 100%. And then turn it all the way and boom, open up. And it has some wear in there, but who cares? It looks like it was bullets maybe. So if any of you guys know what this box is for, know anything about it, Really dug the box. I think I'm gonna use it to, care, you know, just put some cool knives in and kind of have this as like my little EDC box. So I'll probably put some here to protect the, the rust, you know, from getting worse. So yeah, if any of you guys have any uh, idea what this box is for, what it was used for, what might've caused that, just any kind of information on it, any kind of nostalgia info would be cool. For those that know, 20 bucks. Thought it was well worth it, plus all the, you know, all the, um, you know, whatever comes with this, you know, whoever touched it, whoever, you know, all the nostalgia that comes with it. So that's what I got. That was my, you know, glory for the week. So pretty dope. Thought that was awesome. And yeah, so again, go check them out. Surplus guy. And I'll start rambling. That's pretty much all I got for today. Uh, I'll come back next week with some more knives. Those that won the giveaway, please get a hold of me. And again, if you guys are into like pride bars and all that stuff, there's always, uh, you know, EDC everywhere. You can go check out besides knives, you know, pens. Shout out to um, Sergeant who made that for me. And that's it. So again, also challenge coins. So, yep, go check all these things out. Look around besides knives. There's a lot of stuff to buy. EDC carry is... You know, always a hot topic for people. So just wanted to share all that new stuff with you all in one video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully I wasn't too rambling or boring with my stories. But again, I'm really not a storyteller. So <laughs> hope you guys liked it. So as always, check out these knives on the tubes. Carry your knives. And I'll catch you guys, as always, on the flip side. Have a good one. Bam.